Happy New Year, everybody. Um, I want to teach you a polka. This is literally the first tune that popped in my head today. Um, so I figured it would be a good one to teach because it's obviously stirring around in my brain. This is a tune I've loved for a long time. It's called Martin O'Connor's, and it's a super fun tune. I'm going to play it for you medium tempo here, and I'll do it three times through. Um, so here it is. One, two, three, four. Here are the bits of the A part. First, the, uh, the opening phrase is going to be the same as the third phrase. So I'm going to play that and then leave a blank phrase and then play that phrase again. So here it is. Ready? And. It's just D, E, and F sharp, and this starts on F sharp. Ready, and. All right, so there's the bits, um, the opening, first and third phrase of the A part. Um, here is the second phrase has a few more notes and it starts on E pickup note going to F sharp into a D arpeggio kind of thing. I'll play that again. Ready and go. Okay, so I'm going to put that together with the first and third phrase. Here we go. And that was, it leaves us just with the ending phrase. And here's the ending phrase. The same pick up E to F sharp. Um, and then going. on those B's. I'll do that again. Ready and all right so now I'm going to play you two A parts 
uh, when I connect the two A parts, I'm going to throw it X, a little A, um, A pickup note in between the sections. So it'll go B, B, A, da, da. So watch out for that A in between. So two A parts starting on F sharp. Ready? Here we go. So there's two A parts. Um, the B part um, has these parts. Um, starts on F sharp. So that's the first phrase. Um, also the third phrase. So I'm going to do like I did in the A part. I'm going to play the first and third phrase with some space in between. So here's the missing phrases in the B part. Um, first one starts up here on D, and it's just going to go like this, right? And. Try that again. Ready? And. All right, so I'm going to put that in between the first and third phrases. So here's the first three phrases of the B part. Ready? Go. get to the final phrase which just goes again ending on those two B's I'll do that again okay now here are two B parts same thing is going to apply in between I'm going to add that a note in to lead into the next B part that'll be true throughout the tune so here we go two B parts ready go So let's string together the whole tune now. Um, I'm just going to do it two times at about that tempo so you can try playing along. Again, each of the sections connects to the next section uh, with that A note. So that just is going to be an in-between note. It's completely deletable if you need a moment just to catch your breath. All right, so two times through Martin O'Connor. Here we go. One, two, here we go.
right, so for those of you who would like to try playing this with backup or who maybe want to add uh, chords or drones to it, I'm going to let you know the chord structure of this tune too. It's in the key of D, but weirdly enough, at the very beginning it starts on an A chord. Um, there are going to be three chords, D, G, and A. So we're going to start at the beginning. I'll play it through twice with chords. First time I'll call out the chords. A uh, second time, I'm just going to play them, but this way you can practice playing it along with backup if you'd like. Here we go, starting on an A chord. One, two, three, four. A, A, D, 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 G. A, D, 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 then to G, G, A. notice we end the whole tune on a G chord even though we're in the key of D so it has this sense of just leaving it hanging it's one of the things I like about this tune enjoy Martin O'Connor's <laughs> 